volume. Hey children, let us learn about the volumes of different objects. This is a measuring jar. It can be constructed by using a syringe or any bottle of known volume. This measuring jar is constructed by using a syringe of 5 ml volume. So, by pouring water into this jar twice, we get a volume of 10 ml whose level is marked in the jar. Similarly, other levels can be marked on it too. Let us fill the measuring jar with water up to a level and then place a marble inside it. The level of water rises a little. This is due to the space occupied by the marble and this space is called the volume of the marble. In a similar manner, the volume of several objects can be found. For example, volume of a cube is equal to A into A into A, which is equal to A cube. Now, take a matchbox and place it in the jar. It can be observed that the water level does not change. This is because water is heavier than the matchbox. To find the volume of the matchbox, fill it with sand or any other powder and place it inside the jar. The change in level of the water is the volume of the matchbox. Now that we have understood the meaning of volume, let us find out the volumes of these figures. This is a square prism and this is a triangular prism. They are made out of two thick papers of the same dimensions. Let us see which of these two have the largest volume. Fill each of them with sand and transfer this into a measuring jar. You can see that the square prism contains the maximum amount of water. Here we have compared the volumes of two objects of the same area.